What's up guys, Abro here, but you can call me Abby and today we're gonna be talking about Richard Mill. Thanks everyone for the support, as you know, every like, every comment, every share helps a lot with the channel and uh, it motivates me to keep on doing these videos. So without further explanation, let's get right into this. So the brand was funded in 1999 by a guy called Richard Mill. There goes his name, and uh, his aim was to create watches that were both useful, cool, and exclusive. He followed the iconic shape known as the barrel shape, and this shape uh, was originally uh, taken from the design made by Frank Mueller, and they previously took it from the Cartier watches. This brand is all about exclusivity, basically, and have grown thanks to their collabs with uh, different athletes. It's important to know that all of these watches are made from scratch by the brand Richard Mille, and every single screw, every single part is uh, made by hand, so that's why these pieces are incredible and why they take uh, so much time making these uh, incredible watches. They're most known for making really light watches so that athletes, which they sponsor, are able to wear them while they do their activity. A perfect example for this could be Rafa Nadal. This guy has been a partner of them for a couple of years now and uh, all of his watches are special in the sense that they're super lightweight and super shock resistant. This is good because uh, while keeping accurate time, the watch is also light and it doesn't affect his activity. For instance, if we look at Rafael Nadal in the most recent tournament which he was in and he won, the Australian Open uh, in 2022, he was seen wearing his most iconic piece and his most recent one, which is the RM2704. This watch retails for around 1,027,000 USD. On the market, this watch goes for around 2 million. Now, if we look at uh, the people or celebrities that are wearing these watches, we can see that uh, there's a pattern in the sense that they all are at the top of their league. Drake, Anuel, El Alfa, and other um, celebrities wearing these kinds of watches. And it's cool because you can see that each person has their own tastes. But as uh, in every brand, there are some things that separate normal watches from really, really exclusive ones. And if we take a look in Richard Mille, uh, every single watch is exclusive. And if we were to look at the most exclusive pieces from the exclusive pieces, if you know what I mean, J Balvin and JC are the ones that uh, take the cake. Taking everything into account, uh, current and the history behind the watch brand, which um, as we know and as we've seen, it's relatively young, uh, given that it started in 1999 compared to Rolex or other brands, which have been in the business for over a hundred years. And it's incredible, their marketing strategies, um, starting with the Formula One, uh, marketing etc and uh, taking this all into consideration in my own thoughts of the horology part I'm gonna rate uh, Richard Mill in the section of top I think it's a top brand it's an incredible brand however I'm not gonna rate them out of this world because I believe that uh, there are other brands which we'll see in the future and you guys will understand why uh, they're not out of this world and why others are. 
thanks everyone for watching this video until the end subscribe if you're new hope you learn something new that's always good comment if you can and uh, see you soon bye